In this video, we'll talk about setting up your command manager in toolbars. When dealing with molded part design, typically you are going to focus on features, sketching, and surfaces. There is also going to be use of the mold tools and evaluate tabs. So first we are going to start by turning those on. By simply right clicking on one of our command manager tabs and turning on our mold tools and our evaluate. This will give us access to several of the tools such as draft analysis, undercut analysis, parting line analysis, and other things such as measuring statistics for large rebuild times, and also looking at things like zebra stripes and curvature for the more complicated parts. But there are several other tools that we need to focus on. Now you can find these tools by going to insert, fastening features, or we can simply create some new tabs to house these features. So let's start by creating a new tab. I'm going to right click on one of the tabs and select customize. From here, you'll notice that on the window, all of the available tabs are shown. They're grayed out if they're not active. All the way to the right, we have insert new tab. By selecting this, we get a prompt for our toolbars. I'm gonna simply select fastening feature. And that's gonna add that to my list of tabs. So once we select okay, you'll notice that we now have a fastening feature on our command manager. This allows us to get access to things like the mounting boss, snap hook, and lip and groove, which are gonna be used quite a bit when you're dealing with molded parts. There are several other tools that we need to consider as well. If we go to tools, there are things such as thickness analysis. This can be very handy when dealing with molded parts. So if we wanna add things like this to our command manager, we can simply do that by going all the way down to customize, what we'd like to do is go over to our commands and we can either type in a command or we can search for it. So we know that our command for thickness analysis is under tools. So then we can simply go over to the right hand side, hold down our left mouse button and drag that up to our fastening features. We can also drag this onto any other tab or we can add it to our quick keys, our S menu or any of the mouse gestures that we would like. For now, these are all that I'm gonna focus on. There are several other tools that you can use, but thickness analysis and all the fastening features are gonna be the more useful tools when dealing with molded part design. 